Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is Marta's Sci-Fi Seminar. It is day 30 of NaNoWriMo. It's the end. And it is a Tarot Tuesday. I had really been hoping to show you all a larger tarot spread, but I've realized I have some personnel and equipment issues uh, that I need to sort out before I can effectively film a larger tarot spread. So. They'll, that will come. I'll get that sorted out, but I don't have it sorted out for today. So what I'm going to do instead is read you a passage out of my second novel um, where the characters are doing a group tarot exercise. Just to give you a sense of, you know, I, I put Tarot Tuesdays in the NaNoWriMo lineup uh, because I use tarot a lot, not only in my own practice, but uh, in the novels. A lot of the tarot readings are a part of, um, even part of how the structure of the novels go together. So I thought you might enjoy hearing how that works. This is as part of a May Bon celebration in the second book, Demeter West and the Absent Presence. Um, May Bon is the fall equinox, usually celebrated around September 21st. After the meal, they retired to Demeter's client room for a short ritual with candles, flame-colored fall leaves, and a group tarot exercise. As the treehouse-themed former walk-in closet was small for a group of six, they were packed together, sitting in a circle of cross knees, the door open for air circulation to the small, unfurnished space. After a few cheerful minutes of sorting and shuffling the deck by passing the tarot cards around amongst themselves, in a series of maneuvers everybody thought Demeter enjoyed way too much, she could own that it was fun barking out left, right, switch, and scramble as each of them pulled, each of them pulled a card and they laid their cards in a circle formed on the floor by their crossed legs. Igraine had to put her card up to her nose to see it, but when she did, she started laughing. She, the lottery winner and now real estate tycoon, had drawn the empress, the tarot's seat of female material power. She was the only one with a major arcana card. Kesh drew the Prince of Wands, the only court card. Cool card, Kesh, Demeter said. The Prince is a big coming-of-age card, marker of maturity and moving into the world in your own right. Starlight snorted. Kesh, mature? Kesh sighed the long sigh of the exasperated friend. Thank you, Dr. West. That's good to know, they responded and stuck their tongue out at Starlight. See, Starlight said, not mature. The other four gathered in the ritual circle, smirked at the two bickering teens. So what's mine then, Starlight asked, fixing her mother with one of her standard issue skeptic eyebrow frowns and holding up the two of pentacles. Demeter held up her own card, the Ace of Pentacles. Small change and some connection between us. Gee, I wonder what that might be. It was Kesha's turn to snort. That left Darren's card, the Seven of Cups, which Demeter pronounced as Dream when he held it up, and Angelica's Four of Swords, over which Demeter paused a moment and asked, knowing Angelica was doing her own study of the tarot, solitary contemplation, Angelica nodded. Demeter looked around the circle again at each of the cards and at each of the gathered family members and friends. A nice balance, folks. We have all four suits represented, a major arcana card, a court card. We're a little weighted toward the material with two pentacles and the empress, but not so heavy that we can't rise to our challenges in the coming season, this end of the Celtic year. May you be blessed with the bounty of the harvest, the foresight of the cards, the energy of this space. Shall we release the corners and break the circle? At her words, Igraine, Angelica, Kesh, and Starlight each gave a few words of thanks to the energies of the four directions and blew out their respective candles, north, south, east, and west. Darren offered a few words of his own and blew out the central candle. The sharp scented wisps of smoke dissipated as they stretched and stood. So that's it. Um, just gives you a little flavor of how I integrate tarot into the books. And I promise there will be a larger tarot spread in our future. And in December, we will begin the editing videos.
Bye-bye.